Hello and welcome to this video. Um, this is an unboxing of a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. A little while ago I found a YouTube video of um, how to grind your own mirror for a, a large telescope. And I was like, that seems so cool and so fun. And I talked to my wife about it and I thought, I know it's gonna take forever to make, but wouldn't it be so cool to have a big telescope like that? Because I'm sure it's so expensive. Well, it turns out if you have, um, it turns out like a Dobsonian telescope is actually not nearly expensive as you would think. Um, and was in what we could afford. So we ordered one from a company and it was back ordered. So it took maybe six months or so to come. That's an eyepiece rack right there. Um, and then these are the fittings to assemble the base, which is what came out of that box. Um, but when it finally came, uh, I mean, it finally came is all I'm trying to say. Uh, that's where the uh, telescope will sit. Um, apparently the mount is the main part that, of why it's considered a Dobsonian telescope. And, um, and apparently it was based off of a Canon mount, like old time cannon mount. So, um, it, I don't, I'm not sure too much what to say about this part. It was cool. It's was double boxed and, uh, was nicely packaged. Um, yeah, Aptura is the brand, I guess. And it came with this finder scope, uh, which I still need to set up so that it points in the same direction as the telescope. I haven't got around to that yet. It's been, um, it's summer right now, and so it stays light really late, and it gets, it's light early. I get up at 5.30, and even then it's, the stars are all gone. I did use it to look at the moon one, one time, but, um, we have a lot of trees around our house, and so it's, it's hard to, the moon has to come up at just the right time for me to catch it that early. But anyway, it came with uh, two eyepieces. This, I think that's at seven millimeter. And then it came with this laser columnator. That's how you say it. And um, I'm new to telescopes, if you couldn't tell by the way I talk about it. But um, this is a fun way to to get into it in my opinion and uh, it came with that telescope or that eyepiece so anyway uh, I haven't I don't really like staying up late <laughs> which is a funny thing if you're getting a telescope but during the fall spring and summer here farther up north where I live which is in Michigan you get a lot of time where it's dark and um, I remember all fall thinking, man, look how great these stars are when I would get up at 5.30. Um, but, uh, so I think there'll be plenty of time during other seasons to see, see some stars and things without, mainly planets is what I'm interested in, but um, without having to stay up super late. It also came with this moon filter, which is super, handy and uh, that was one thing that made me decide against this solid tube telescope that we, that I got was it came with a lot of accessories um, it was around the same price as a truss tube telescopes that I was looking at they were 12 inch um, and uh, so so far I'm pretty happy with it I mean I always think when you get so much more for the same price, like that cost has to be going somewhere. I don't know, but uh, it's big and it's heavy, as you can see here. And uh, that's all. That's all I really have to say. Um, I guess maybe I was gonna say I decided that uh, as cool and as fun as fun it would be to grind my own mirror. I didn't want to have to go through all the process of 
building the housing and I'd still have to buy that mirror there, the secondary mirror I guess it's called, and I'd have to build all of the support for it, I'd have to build that base, everything, which is um, cool, but a lot of work for how relatively inexpensive this style of telescope is. That's the uh, the bearings for the base, which I thought was pretty cool. I've never really seen, I've rarely seen bearings like that. And then that's how you assemble the nut that holds it, uh, the two those two pieces together, so it can spin. And I don't know, is I don't I'm running out of things to say. In any case, here's the telescope. It's huge. It's comes up to the side of my head, which is what I'm trying to show you there. And um, I'm excited to get out and try to use it more once the sky's clear.